Joel's son. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and create a video being the easiest way to respond to that question, showing you how to do a very professional artificial sun using some of the techniques that I've already gone over in some of my previous videos, the lens flare technique, um, and also some other blending modes. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to be showing you in this video again how to create an artificial sun using Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is upload, or I'm going to open an image that will be linked down in the bottom bar so you can go ahead and download that and use it along with me to get a hang on what we got to do here. So first thing I'm going to do, file, open, and I'm going to open picture of the sky. Nice picture, got it off the internet. Google Images is great for this sort of thing. So first thing we're going to do is unlock the background. That means you're going to double click this. Sorry, I was holding down the control key. You're going to double click that little lock and press OK. And what you're going to do is come to Layer, New, click Layer, and then I'm just going to type Sun. You can type whatever you'd like. Okay, there we go with that. And now what we're going to do is come over here to our elliptical marquee tool, which I already had selected, but now you know what it looks like. And I'm just going to click somewhere about in the middle. Um, again, you can choose wherever you'd like to put your sun. I'm putting mine right about there because I think it would look pretty nice. So we need to make sure it looks pretty round. You don't want an oval, and it needs to be about medium-sized. That looks okay. And make sure before you do your elliptical marquee tool that you actually have the sun layer um, selected and nothing else. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the circle with a color. I suggest using a yellowish color. Um, you can use a white color if you'd like, but something close to yellowish, whitish. Um, you don't want to be too yellow, but you don't want to be too white either. Um, so something around what I have here is going to be okay. So I'm going to come over here to my paint bucket tool, click inside the marquee tool, and there we go. Now, there is my, basically my outline of my sun. I know at this point it looks pretty cartoonish, but it will look much better once we're done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to filter, and we're going to go to blur, and then lens blur. And I already had mine preset before. Um, here are the settings that I put. The radius is set to about 58. The rotation is set to about 52. The threshold is 255 all the way up. And the blade curvature is about zero. You can adjust that if you wanted to, but you don't really have to. It won't really make too big of a difference. Um, so once you have that selected, you can go ahead and press OK. Okay, so now that we have our blur onto our image, there's a few other things that we need to do. First thing we need to do is go ahead and combine our image. So we're going to go to Layer and Merge Visible. Now that we have that done, it's just one more technique left and then we're going to be done. We've got to go to Filter, Render, and then Lens Flare. What you're going to do is click your uh, pointer in the very center of the sun, close as you can. We're going to select 105 Prime and you're going to put it around 125%. You can do 130 if you like. It won't hurt anything. Of course, if you don't like it, you can always go back and redo it. And there we go. We now have our sun. There's no bold outline, so it doesn't look fake. It's got that nice blur. It's got the brightness. It's got the camera effects, and it looks really good. Well, here you go. That's how to create an artificial sun in Photoshop. I hope this helped, guys. This can be used in any kind of image you take yourself or in any other image that you need to have a light source, uh, a sky, a field, landscape, anything like that. This is how to do it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, if it was helpful, please rate, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and uh, much more videos to come. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below or on my main channel page, and I will let you know as soon as possible if I'm going to be able to make the video or not. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.